Hello, hello, hello. Hello, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Welcome to January 10th. Thank you so much for joining. If you ladies would go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. We are going to, hi says what? Hello four ducks, how are you? I am going to give the room just a little 007. Hello, hello. Hi Shirley, hello and happy Sunday. Welcome one, welcome all. Each with me and with the other ladies in the room. Hello, Susan. And I just want to say thank you for all of that because I know that it is Kathy. Welcome. Hello, the closet dive. Welcome to have water here. My mother and I challenged each other to room tonight because. I'm making 50 million trips because I got started a little bit late. Out my uh, community page. But if you have not done so, I'm sorry, closet dad. Let me, I don't know if I can, let me see if I can do anything about the buffering. Let's see. All right, let me see if I can switch the connection. All right, how's that? Let's see if that makes it any better. I've disconnected from uh, Wi-Fi and just gonna turn tempers off. I'd appreciate it. Hello, Carmen. Joy, safe travels back home. All right, is this, is it still buffering really bad? Hi, Sonja. Oh, uh, let me see. I wonder if I completely switch devices. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Let's see if this is any better. Maybe I'll try it from. Hello. I'm going to attempt to see if this connection. All right, I've got a second one going, so I'm not sure what that's going to do for my channel, but maybe one of the signals is better than the other. All right. So, um, what I was sharing is that um, I have a, a, a post on my community tab. My nephew, who is 15, and I have a little bit of a wager going now. Um, he has his first new little girlfriend, and I say little because um, she's 14, he's 15. They're in the same grade but she just hasn't had a birthday yet. Um, and he's, we're trying to figure out what to get her for Valentine's Day. I am taking one position, he has taken another. So we decided that we would let social media settle it for us. So, thanks Mrs. Q. So um, what I've posted on the community tab is his gift idea versus mine. I intentionally did not share which was which um, because I wanted to get your genuine responses. And the comments are priceless. And I appreciate those comments because I have sent them back and forth to my nephew saying, see, see, it's not just me. Um, he affectionately refers to me as the old woman um, but as I keep telling him, the old woman will not intentionally steer you in the wrong direction. So um, he he did finally say, um, "You're right. I'm just I'm just gonna do it your way. I'm gonna do it your way." 
Um, but I we we still have um, a, a, an opportunity for you to vote because he's not purchased. Um, I'd like to have a hundred votes. He's really close to that. Um, but that's kind of the number he wants to see what a hundred people think about his gift idea versus mine. So if you would take the time to go uh, to the community tab and cast your vote on um, our uh, family debate over the first Valentine's Day gift, I would really appreciate it. Um, so uh, that is it for now. I've got 16 people in one room, uh, 15 in another. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you, Mrs. Q, for letting me know that the second live stream seems to be going a little bit better. I'm going to keep the first one going just in case people find that one or maybe um, the connection kicks back in. So this, I believe, is my final um 2018 or best of 2018 series and this one is actually um top purchases for 2018 and i am extremely excited to share with you these items hi Aunt. hello diane um so the first thing i will say is that uh, these are not integrated keep in mind that every single accessory that I share with you tonight, I purchased in multiple colors. Just keep that in mind. Um, so it is the Large Carrington. And this is the one that had the rough journey with UPS with the tassel hanging all outside of the box. So I have um, one of the little brush uh, nets over it to kind of uh, keep those straight. But this is an absolutely amazing purchase. So not only is it it's large enough for your cosmetics, the tassel is over exaggerated and I don't know, that's probably about seven or eight inches long. I don't think it's a full 12 inches, but it's a really nice over exaggerated tassel. It does not. It is, um, it just has the zipper pocket on the back wall. You've seen this before, but no card slots, no slip pocket. We love the large version of the Carrington. And it was during the uh, bucket list experience that Ems uh, shared with the tribe how she was using her large Carrington over in another bag and it was like we all had an epiphany at the same time that the way that she was using it as a catch-all in another bag was absolutely brilliant. Um, it's a number of things that allow um, your the inside of your bag to be um, organized, uh, protected from anything that could ink or explode or tops just in general coming off. So that's an amazing use of um, the first item, which was the um, the large Carrington. The next item is none other than Alice. This is the Alice Clutch, and this is in Safiano. I have it in red. I also have her in ostrich in the color pearl. So this is an amazing piece because it's plenty large enough for tons of organization. So I can get two cell phones in here. I've got a place for my place for me to put my receipts, an ID window for my driver's license. There's a zippered pouch here so that I can put my coins. There's a place for tons of cards, more slip space, and then just kind of an open um, pouch area. No outside zip, no um, as a clutch or as a wallet. Um, I wouldn't necessarily call this a catch-all just because it um, gives the jet setter, I think it's the jet setter from uh, both Toomey and Michael Kors, it gives that wallet a, a run for its money. I love the fact that even though it's a big wallet, it doesn't, hi Samantha, it doesn't open 
flat because if you got all if it's packed out you don't want something that's going to open up like a book and then all of your stuff is going to end up falling out so i really really like the fact that it has the accordion sides the fact that it was made available in different colors different leathers um, and that it appears to continue to be offered um, additionally, um, you know, that, that there's some one, there are some that are still available in the outlets. Um, so you can continue to make that purchase. The next item is none other than the Kiss Coin Clutch. It is, this is a larger one. I, it's a handful, right? I, so many of us, as we have um, over the course of 2018, talked about our childhood and how we were all traumatized by this little thing. Um, it could have made for a 2018 uh, try moment. But just finally being able to get my hands on this in red and in Florentine, the fact that, I think I just lost my, my notes. Um, so the fact that it has a place for cards left on the left side and the right side or front and back. And the fact that it has a pretty nice wide base. So if you needed to throw like your keys in there or lipstick, then um, it's a little dark but it's a nice size little accessory perfect for tabletop you know if maybe um, you're just going to dinner or to the movie or lunch or maybe you're just running out during lunchtime uh, to the post office this little beauty is absolutely amazing and the fact that it was at such a great price um, this, I picked this up the weekend that the Safiano clutches, I think, were on sale for like 40, maybe 44 bucks, I think. Um, and the Florentine one was on sale for the exact same price. So I picked it up in a few different colors, but of course, red is the one that I am most treasuring. So that is item number three. Item number four caught me a little bit off guard. And it caught me off guard because I did an experiment with this collection um, and was not happy. And then went back and purchased a piece from this collection again and was even more unhappy and then decided I was going to ditch the collection altogether until I discovered the Beacon card case. And this is the one in the color Bordeaux. Um, I have carried the red and the light taupe one is the one that is in the bag that I'm carrying right now. Weeks, um, it's time for me to switch into something else. I have admittedly not been in anything uh, other than accessories I have not carried a Junior Burke bag in the last five weeks, which is basically 2019. I have been using my assessors, uh, but I have not been carrying for the last five weeks um, a Junior Burke bag. And for the last four weeks, I have been carrying the exact same bag. That's how much I have fallen in love with it. But back to the Beacon card case. Um, thanks to... My tribe sisters says what? Sandra Covington, My Pursuit of Happiness. Um, these ladies made me reconsider the Beacon card case. They each had purchased it during the Macy's VIP sale. It was a great price, but I just could not, even at a great price, bring myself to make the purchase. So, um, I was later in the outlets with Sandra Covington and My Pursuit of Happiness, and they both had their IDs and their debit cards and credit cards and business cards. They had, <coughs> excuse me, that all of their items in the Beacon card case.
they had it in the beacon card case and it was amazing they were each carrying different colors they shared different reasons for liking it they each had it organized a little bit differently and i thought this is absolutely perfect so i was in the outlet store and in true fashion i purchased every color they had except the olive and the black i gifted the french blue to my sister for christmas i gifted my mom a red one for Christmas and the first thing she said when she got it was this is perfect to go in my pocket because my mom doesn't typically take her purse into the building for work she'll stick it in like her front or back pocket and she just really needs like her ID her insurance cards and the key to her car um, and you know so this absolutely is perfect I do have i don't know if you can see that it does have scratches you can kind of see and i'm trying to adjust for two different cameras because i have two live streams going now but it does have some scratches on it but i'm okay with that because it was perfect when i got it i knew that this particular leather was having some challenges with scratches um and it's okay. It is absolutely perfect in and out of the airport. Um, having my driver's license and my corporate card handy so that I can, you know, check in and out and pay for my bag and all of that. So if you miss out on this, then I am going to challenge you to reconsider. Um, even Sabrina reconsidered. And Sabrina, I don't know, have you carried your um beacon car case yet what do you think about it i don't know if i'm able to see the chat now something's going on here let's see you haven't carried it um so now i have the live straight up uh, the uh, live chat back up if if you are a small bag carrier if you are um, a crossbody carrier if you are a small to medium bag carrier and your challenge is always trying to get your full size wallet into a bag and it not suck up all of the other space for the um for the items for the other items that you have in your bag then i would encourage you to consider a beacon carry case I did not imagine that in 2018, when I moved into a beacon card case, that it would become my staple. I have taken my envelope, um, my little um, red envelope um, card case, that Safiano one that you've seen in my What's in My Bag, and it's in my um, uh, favorite accessories or most used accessories. That thing has been in my find something that replaces that is huge 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 for me um Rosalind, i think you should i think you should reconsider and get one for yourself because your 17 year old daughter is right this is the life it is absolutely amazing so what i typically do when i'm going into that through the airport and thanks to my pursuit of happiness for um pointing this out is because the sides of this are kind of accordion here in the middle, because each side has those little folds there. So in the center is where I keep my cash. And then on the front and the back of those little folds is where I stick business cards, my personal debit card, my ID, and then my corporate card with my cash in the, in the middle. It makes going through the airport a breeze um, because I know exactly where my things are. Checking out at Target or at Publix, it makes all of that so much easier and I know where everything is. And I don't want you to, you know, think that, oh, it's only going to, um, thank you, thank you moderators. Um, I, I don't want you to think that it will only hold four cards because that's not the case. I'm just showing the full length of 
um, the card case would have actually been in there. Stream disconnected, so I'm just going to keep on on this next item. The next item I hope to see more of in 2019 and beyond. And that is the Willis Convertible Clutch. I'm pulling this one out because the other one is in my bag and I didn't want to have to reorganize anything. But this is the Willis. This is the um, Grando when I did the live stream from Orlando. This thing is amazing. It is like two wallets in one, but they are attached. There's no detach in the inside, but it gives you an opportunity to really divide your stuff up so that you only have what you need open and exposed at one time. No back pocket. It does have a top handle. It also has D-rings here on the side because it has a thin crossbody strap. That was the piece that I did not take with me to Orlando that I wish I had because it would have made me being hands-free a lot easier. But this did be, this was available in pebble leather the sports teams were available during the sample sale in um, siesta the summer siesta print ton of different cards or your store rewards cards or um you know private labels retailer credit cards there is a place for all of that it has the nice little cut out here for your ID for ease of sliding it out. There is also not one, but two slip pockets on the front wall for cash or your um, receipts or a, um, a checkbook. Then you have additional cards on the back and another slip. Not to mention, there's a little bit of depth here in the center. So if you needed to drop something else in here, there's for that. Then on the back side, which has the strap back here. Ah, uh, is it caught on the plastic? Okay. So on the back side, it does not open flat, but you now have a place to put your coins little more storage space there in you know from a depth standpoint there's a slip pocket and then on the front wall there is an additional slip pocket not to mention it comes with a strap that allows you to carry it as either a shoulder bag or as a crossbody it can also be used just as a little hand um clutch so i finally was able to add her in the black in the siesta and am hoping that we will see more of Willis in uh, 2019. If you missed out on this piece, some of the outlets still had like the, um, I think it was the lollipop swirl. The lollipop swirl was also available um, in the lollipop swirl was available and I think that's the only one that was available at the tent sale. Um, M, so I have it in pebbled leather in the coated cotton in the siesta. And I think the other one is Safiano. Um, they did other, other than the sports teams, I never found it in Florentine. And I never found my Tennessee Titans, so I just, it wasn't available from what I could find in the sample. So this is it. Um, I, I know that Kimberly has the Willis and loves her. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I know that Mocha Cream has, Mocha Cream is actually the one that turned me on um, to the Willis. She actually called, I like it. Um, I'll buy it from you, but trust me, you are going to love it. 
Um, so I am so happy um, that she continued uh, to, to push me uh, for the Willis to get on my radar screen because she's absolutely right. Once I got my hands on it and once I moved into it, I could not get enough of her. Um, I believe the one and only DJ King also has uh, the Willis in a couple of different colors as well. So that's one, two, three, four. Is that right? Did I count right? All right. So uh, last. Is that it? All right. So last but definitely not least is an item that I picked up late in the year because I didn't pick it up until the uh, bucket list experience. Um, but it is the ostrich foldover wallet. Do y'all see the iridescence that that pewter color picks up? I am loving, between pearl and pewter, I am loving the ostrich. Now, why I'm in love with this one is, of course, because it has an outside pocket that my phone will fit into. It also has this zipper top that allows for easy access and easy storage of my travel receipts for work so there's a place for me to secure those it also has card access an id window with the cutout so that it's easy to slide your id out it has a slip pocket underneath all of that storage and then here on the bottom or in the main body you have a zipper pocket where you can keep your coins or the spare house key or whatever you um, normally would keep in a little zipper pocket. And let me get the, there is also storage space and some additional card space, not to mention it snaps. So from a travel standpoint, again, anything that is a clutch, go over and check out my Instagram page work with all of my travel receipts and it is literally the entire top of my desk is covered it um, a wallet like this that has a ton of organization place for me to be able to secure those receipts place for me to still be able to keep my id and my cards accessible my coins accessible and then a little bit more um, storage for all of those other cards that i carry not to mention a place to slip my checkbook flat wallet. I think it's called the Continental because it has like the Continental wallet front on it. And then on the back, it actually has just a zipper, a zipper round thingy. Um, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the zipper um, pocket on the top flap. Um, the other one also functions, I think, as a crossbody. This one is purely a wallet. There's no place for you to attach any kind of hardware or anything. So I really, really love it. Um, I guess I'll share uh, before the live stream, our tribe sister, Carmen Hawkins, um, was at one of the outlets and uh, shared a ton of pictures. So if you have not called or checked at an outlet lately and you are looking for the color Glacier Blue, if you were looking for um, any of the exotics in Ostrich, if you are looking for Ecru, if you are looking for the color Steel Blue, if you are looking for the color Mauve, it appears that the outlets have started getting their inventory in for the new year for the spring for post um, annual inventory. So um, whether it is accessories, Tatums are plentiful. Uh, Alice seems to still be available in Safiano and in um, uh, Safiano and Pebble Leather. So those are things that if you're looking for um, 
Cooper is available. Cameron is available. If you're looking for some new pieces in nylon, those are available. Um, I don't remember seeing any, uh, like, Carringtons of any kind. Um, accessories seem to be available, whether it's the Kiss Coin, whether it is Slim or Zip Around Wallets. Those things are available. Um, from a Florentine standpoint, Karen is available. The Medium Florentine Satchel they have in Steel Blue. Um, they have the clay, oh, they had it in natural red, it was that black or chestnut, I can't look at the pictures right now because I'm dual streaming to try to get a consistent, um, to try to stall off the, the buffering, yes, chestnut, um, and, and elephant, so they had just a ton, check the inventory, don't pull the trigger yet, because my gut is telling me that um, midweek towards the weekend when we hit the Valentine's Day, that there should be an additional sale or something like that um, that would make uh, waiting just a couple more days for that purchase better. But if you're curious to see what they have and the colors that they have, I would say go ahead and do that. If you like Caldwell in either Mushroom mushroom and then the metal green those are available as well um what else what else what am i forgetting um travel bags messenger bags um the ostrich duffel um was available uh the nylon dot Kit. So if you've not picked that up, the nylon dot kit is available. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Kim can probably tell you which Coopers were available. Seems like there was a Cooper available in white as well as a Cooper available in dark mauve. Um... The double zip is, are you talking about the red, Teresa? Or are you talking about the pewter? The red is the Willis convertible clutch. The pewter is the uh, fold over zip wallet. And it's in the color pewter. And it's regular 148, the outlets, even during the time of the bucket list experience, it was 50% off on Caitlin's 74 bucks for it. So anything more than 70, you're welcome, Teresa. Um, so that's it. The Willis convertible clutch, uh, the zip fold over wallet, the beacon card case. I'm sorry, what was the question? Um, metal ostrich nearby. I have the pewter. I don't have the um, Caldwell in um, in the light gold close by. Um, and then the Alice clutch. Lots of clutches for me. And then the large Willis. So those are the best or top accessory purchases for me in 2018. So I am going to take a look at the chat and see. I know that my tribe has been answering a lot of questions and getting rid of the, um, the trolls. I'm sure there are tons of people that I've not had an opportunity to say hello to. So I'm going to see how much of that. Hello, Bag Hound. Welcome, Mrs. Kitty. Hi, Noble Strength. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Shirley, I think I spoke to you earlier, but hello again. Purse Vane, welcome. Happy to see you in the chat. 
Let's see who else, who else. Thanks, Teresa. I'm glad that you ladies um, are, were bear with me while we were having technical difficulties. I'm still streaming in two places. Um, one live stream has 52 people in it. The other have four. Um, if the four of you are uh, struggling with the connection, please check out the other um, stream because I want to make sure that the connection is better. Um, Sunflower is six. I may have paid I don't know six bucks for them because I think I got like 500 of them but they just um, go on the tassel and help hold them together and yeah um, Amazon and eBay both have them but I think they were a little bit cheaper on eBay I'm looking through the chat to see if there are any more questions. Hello, the closet dive. Yeah, Ms. you need one of the beacon card cases. If nothing more than just for um, smaller bags or when you don't necessarily need your full wallet, it's perfect for that. Rosalind, I'm going to urge you to take the advice of your teenage daughter and put you on the hunt for another Beacon card case because she is not steering you wrong when she makes that recommendation about that card case being life. I completely agree with her. Um, I agree, Mrs. Q. The Beacon card, it's the perfect size. Uh, handbag hauler, the second item that showed was the Will, not the Willis, the, the Alice Clutch. Um, let's see. So, Julianne, did you, um, so just keep in mind that with this particular, I see you said that your cards were getting stuck but you can't align them here in the center. So you're gonna have to either slide them in on the back wall or the front wall. They won't work here in the center because of that little bit of um, accordion pleating there on the side, which interferes with your cards. So just try organizing it a little bit differently. And I think you'll be much, much happier uh, getting the cards in and out. All right. Um, okay, so Closet Dive is using the Beacon Card case for overflow cards, and I am using it as my actual wallet. The handbag collar, I think it would be great, especially if your niece... Um, is a small bag carrier or she's heading off to college and just needs something um, that she can maybe throw into her backpack or into her laptop bag, this would be a great, great gift option. Especially if you're going to put some cash or a couple of gift cards in there for, um, you know, I would just say probably fast food places because that's what college kids eat. Or maybe even a Visa gift card. It would be perfect perfect gift idea for your niece my um i actually gifted my nephew a dooney wallet for christmas and i probably should have filmed it um but it was already you know wrapped and stuff for christmas but i, I gifted it to him and it already had um cash in it and gift cards gift cards for stores gift cards uh to the movies gift cards to restaurants um, so he has really enjoyed his, his new wallet. Um, Lawanese, yes, you need to rethink the Willis. Camilla, welcome. Welcome, glad to have you in the chat. Let's see. Just 
just go in through the trap. Uh, in red ostrich, but I would like that wallet design in red. Hello, sunny skies. Welcome. I do not have a Tatum. Um, so for me, the Tatum to me is a little bit of a plus size on the slim wallet. And if you've been with my channel for any period of time, you know that that particular um, wallet didn't work for me with work and all of the travel receipts and stuff. It just, it created havoc uh, trying to get my things in and out. So it just, it didn't work for me. Um, but I understand that if you are a 2ID carrier, um, if you don't have a bunch of receipts and things like that to, to hold on to, the fact that it will hold a wallet, um, not a wallet, a phone, and that the top has a double zipper so that you can get your phone in, I can understand why that particular wallet option would be popular with so many people. Um, but because it's a snap, wallet and it just kind of reminds me of the slim wallet i have not picked that one up let's see we got rid of the trolls so thank you to my moderators you ladies have been busy tonight hello i'm purse happy too welcome hello vader Um, all right, so the outlet where Carmen was tonight, just in case you're specifically looking for any of the inventory that we mentioned, is Rehoboth Be Beach, Delaware. Um, I have the number, but it's in my phone, and I'm, again, dual streaming, so I'm not able um, to get it. Uh, Denison. Um, was available the uh, dome satchel, uh, the steel blue, the Kyra in Denison was available. So if you're looking for any of those, I would. Um, and I've, I, it has been. I've only shopped at the Rehoboth Beach store once, and it was. Ooh, it's probably been about. Years ago, I was um, going to Atlantic City for my birthday and we detoured in Rehoboth Beach and spent the day there at the outlet so that I could um, check that particular location off of my bucket list. Um, it's not a huge store, but they are full right now of inventory um, based on the pictures that we saw today. Uh, Vader, no, I do not have any Tatums. No Tatums in any color, in any leather, in any style. Welcome, Emerald Gold. Thanks for joining the live stream. Uh, Duo Mogul, thank you. This scarf is like, it's an infinity scarf, and I've had it for probably, probably about... Four or five years, I only pull it out and wear it during um, the month of February because, um, I don't know, that's just when I do. But thank you. I got picked it up from JCPenney. They had a couple of different styles, and I picked up one in every color. Um, so Julie asked if I have any Dooney and Burt coming. Um, I'm going to sleep on the medium uh, steel blue, medium Florentine steel blue satchel. Um, not because um, I'm just going to wait. I want to be able to purchase that one in person. And a couple of the ladies and I are planning a weekend trip so that we can shop Dooney in person. We were actually going to go this weekend, but because the stores were slow in getting their inventory in, um, we decided that we were going to push it off just a little bit. So in a couple of weeks, if I haven't, if I don't make the decision to go ahead and purchase it this week, then it would be something that I would purchase in in person. Um, so no, I don't have anything coming. I have not made a Dooney and Burke purchase all of 20 
19. And I know that's not a very long time, but we're coming up on 15. Anything you can do me. Um, and quite honestly, I'm a little bit fresh to convert this into a sip and cuss, so I'm going to keep that to myself, at least for now. But there could be a sip and cuss coming because I'm a little upset about it. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. I'm drinking water and have just a little bit of Becca's finishing powder on today with a little bit of uh, blush. So no color on my face today at all other than eyes and lips. Uh, let's see. Okay, D. Blair, with the uh, Beacon card cases at the outlets, they were 50% off. So I think they were $24, if I'm correct. Um, we paid a little bit less for ours because we had the additional percentage off um, during the time when many of us purchased them from like Macy's, uh, purchased during the, um, I'm trying to think, there was an additional percentage off or whatever, so that's an idea. Um, you know, just try to hold off if they have it, hold off and see if there's going to be an additional sale this weekend and you might be able to find a better price on it. Um, yeah, so Vader, I do like the fold over. I like the fold over better than the slim wallet. Absolutely. Um, I don't know that I like it more though than the Willis just because more organization in the Willis. It takes up less space in my bag, but to take up less space, I did, it does compromise some of the storage in there, in the, in the wallet. If you ladies would, make sure that you are hitting the thumbs up for me. Thank you, Kimberly. She posted the number to the Rehoboth Beach, Delaware store. So then if you're interested in making a purchase, please make sure that you let them know that you uh, found out about their inventory from a live stream on YouTube um, in hopes that they will reconsider their filming and live stream policy in 2019. Uh, so just make sure that you do that for us. That's all we ask. That and to hit the thumbs up. Oh, Julie just got her uh, a natural Buckley. Uh, you know me, I would carry mine in the rain, but I completely understand wanting to hold on to her um, until the weather clears up just a little bit. Yeah, so uh, Sandra had a similar experience with her natural buckley that I had. Hers got soaked in the rain. If you've heard on my channel that I've used mine as an umbrella to cover my hair, um, which is doing its own thing again tonight. But um, And I just the key with that is don't touch it. Don't try to dry it up. Don't try to blot the water spots. Um, just think about it cows live outside it, they get snowed on they get rained on and if leather in my opinion this is my opinion i'm entitled to it if leather was not supposed to be in rain then leather would not make a good um media for bags because it would all it, the, the hides would be messed up from years and years of the cows living out in a pasture, but cows get rained on. Trust me, there is a cow somewhere right now laid down in a pasture in the dark with his head down, and he is getting rained on, and his hide is fine. But there's nobody out there with that cow trying to dry him off, messing up. <laughs> the natural drying process. So I, I'm going to swear about it and say that that has been the key for me and bags, particularly Florentine and avoiding water spots is let it naturally dry. Let it dissipate. Let it absorb. Don't try to blot it. Don't smear it. 
Let it just naturally air dry. Leather is intended to be that way because cows live outside in the elements. And I know y'all are laughing at me, but it just, just, just think about it. Just think about it. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Just think about the fact that cows live outside. They don't, I mean, some of them. No, Julie, I won't be ordering a black Buckley as much as I want another Buckley. I just can't see red. I can't, I can't see um, red. I mean, I can't see me adding black to my collection because I just won't care. Samantha, all weather leather is classic Dooney. It is thoughts on all weather leather is you can't go wrong with it. I don't, to me, all weather leather is, is like the... It's the ancestor for pebbled leather. It is the original workhorse, very durable. I have all weather leather pieces in my collection. If I had a choice between all weather leather and pebbled leather, like original um, all weather leather would be my choice every single time. You cannot go wrong with that. I don't have any spots, any dings, any. it is just a workhorse. Yep. Yeah, D. Blair, I have a ton of bags too. One of the things that we're committing to this year, and when I say we, I'm talking about me, some of the other ladies in the tribe is we're going to make more strategic purchases. Um, we are all focused on organization and storage and shopping our own vaults this year um, and traveling because not only do we have um, trips planned that we've shared with you ladies, but we're talking about doing some things away from the cameras and just hanging out. Um, and there are other things that we'll do, you know, beyond 2019. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy my collection right now. I haven't seen anything in the line from doing it that makes me want to pull out my credit card or take on another duty pay, especially now that um, I finished paying for all those Russells um, that I purchased during the Christmas time. So I don't know, maybe I'll find something soon that makes me want to do that. But right now, I just can't bring myself to do it. All right. You're right, Samantha. If it's something that you really want, like for me, the gold and the silver Carrington, it's not going on sale. Um, a best case scenario would be a, a 20 or 25% off coupon that doesn't have any exclusions on Dooney.com and I would be able to pick that up. But um, you're right. If you really want it, it's not available on sale. Yeah, I've carried even my altos in the rain, especially the Giovanna, Giovanni. Um, and I paid full price for that bag. But if I paid full price for you and you can't be in the rain, we can't hang together. I'm sorry. Um, but y'all, I also acknowledge I've got a lot of bags, just like many of you, tons of bags. Um, so for me, if one of them gets a water spot or something, it is not the end of the world. Um, for me, I'm, I will still carry it. And I'll just remember that was that day that I got trapped in, you know, in a rainstorm or whatever. But everybody treats their collection differently. And don't let me steer you um, if you're not comfortable with it. Yep. All right, ladies, we are at 56 minutes in one place an hour and another because strings because of the buffering um i do hope that anyone watches on the replay i apologize for the connection up front but hope that you stuck it out with us until the end um would love to see in the comments what were your best accessory purchases in 2018 um, and if you didn't make any accessory purchases in 2018, I'd love to see either in the chat or in the comments um, what accessories are on your radar screen. Tongue-tied. 
for 2019. Are you going to go back and pick up some of the pieces that um, we talked about, like the beat the pirate case, like the fold over wallet, like um, you know, a large Carrington or an Alice or a fold over wallet, or is there something completely different that is on your radar? I would love to know. Listen, I don't know if you um, have been hanging out with us on Saturday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central, but if you did not hang out with us on yesterday, you missed a treat. None other than the tribe's very own M's Squares hosted her very first live stream. Uh, M's claims that she's shy, um, that she's an introvert, but she will go over and check out her live stream, her first um, in front of the camera appearance. She was absolutely amazing. So other than Mrs. Q, and the week before that was Sonja Covington, and the premiere was hosted by none other than Kimberly Mines. Says what is going to build up her courage, and I and I have faith in Says that in 2019 she is going to host a tribe time on the side of her comfort zone and and step back in front of the camera live. Um, no, it's not going to be 2025, Suds. <laughs> it's going to be late 2019, maybe 2020, but not 2025. You can absolutely do it before then. Um, we will all be hanging out on my channel. Is that right? Yeah, my channel on Sunday um, for our usual time together. Um, from a content standpoint, uh, please make sure that you are checking out the handbag hauler. If you have not yet subscribed to her channel, I'd ask that you kindly um, go over and check out her Dooney and Burke content. Um, my super, super duper close uh, tribe sisters, folks that I talk to every single day, every single night, and Mrs. Q. In addition, says what is uh, posting a weekly video of the bags. Um, that she has carried through the week. She makes me wish that I was not traveling as often for work so that I could explore my own collection a bit more. Um, so please make sure that you are checking those ladies out. Make sure that you are checking out D. Blair, uh, the handbag hauler again. I'm first happy to the quiet, demented bag hound who um, I'm not convinced that bag hound um, doesn't have like a secret warehouse stash of handbags because she is killing the uh, review game. Um, the um, formerly Fab to Fab, now Zori's Finds. Um, please make sure that you are checking her out as well. Um, Noble Strength. Uh, Noble has everything from how to style your bags to a daily devotion to thrifting um, haul videos. So make sure that you are checking her out. Um, did I already say Dee Blair? Seems like I'm going through people. I'm repeating people. Um, we are trying. I feel like I'm forgetting a lot of people because the community is growing. And I love when... We can encourage each other to step outside of our comfort zones. Yes, Ange loves Dooney. Um, and, and do something to, to share um, our love for Dooney and Burke and 2019 other brands. So um, make sure that you are following us all. Um, I will be announcing where the uh, tribe time will be, whose channel we will be moving to. Um, during my tri um, during my tribe time this week, I'm not really sure yet what I want to share, what I want to talk about. Um, but what I am sure of is it will not be Dooney and Burke. <laughs> it will not be Dooney. Um, so I have seen in the comments, I have seen in the chat where people have asked. Um, oh, yes, the military mom and my pursuit of happiness and four ducks. How can I forget you ladies charge you to my head and not my heart? Um, but I've seen where many of you and I. Um, 
So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, make sure that you are subscribed to all of the beautiful content creators in this community, that you have your bell, that little bell turned on so that if we're live streaming at an odd or an unannounced time or that we're moving from channel to channel, that you are able um, to follow along because we like spending our time with you. We love um, engaging with you in the chat. Um, we love keeping the trolls away, wishing and phone um, contact information. We absolutely love being able to engage with you in those different ways. So we thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back week after week, um, live stream after live stream after, you know, days and nights of um, channel 830 Eastern Standard Time, 730 Central for For Real Fridays. I will be back on Saturday morning at 11. Oh, yes, the closet dive who is slowly becoming my favorite enabler as well. I haven't taken the plunge into Brahmin, um, but the Closet Dive and I have been exchanging some wonderfully uplifting, encouraging um, emails with each other. Um, so I can understand why Mrs. Q calls her um, her favorite enabler. She is amazing. Um, but make sure that you uh, come back on Saturday morning at 11. So we're hanging out on Mrs. Q's channel on Friday night. I've got you on a Saturday morning and Sunday evening. And then from there, we will announce whose channel we are hanging out on um, for tribe time. Thank you so much again for bearing with me through my technical difficulties. If you join late, please make sure that you check out the community tab and settle the family debate that I'm having with my 15-year-old the girlfriend um, for Valentine's Day. And other than that, thanks for hanging with one um, in the community that would like to share your best accessory purchases from 2018 with those of us that are stalking Dooney content. Um, yeah, so make sure, again, that you go out and check on um, M's channel. She did an amazing job on her live stream on yesterday. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. Make sure that you check out Julianne as well. I feel like there's so many channels that I am omitting. But again, ladies, charge it to my head and not my heart. Um, I do hope that you have a fantastic week. And until next time, I do hope that you find something that feeds your duty addiction. Take care. Bye-bye.